everyone welcome back to Cracksoid. finally the wait is over and the official project elixir 4.0 based on android version 14 with the latest security update of january 2024 has been rolled out and in this video i'm going to give you in-depth review of this room and show you all of its new exciting features customizations geek paint score onto the benchmark score cpu throttling tests and many more and I'll also look for any potential bugs in this room. So without further ado, let's get started. User experience. Let's kick things off with the most common and crucial aspect, the user experience of the room. Speaking of user experience, it's incredibly smooth. You can witness the seamless swiping across the screen and this is how fast apps open and close. Share your thoughts on the app opening and closing speed and the overall user experience of this room in the comments. From my perspective, it's absolutely buttery smooth. About phone. As you already know, this is Project Elixir ROM based on latest Android 14 and you can also see the Android security update of January 5, 2024 which is also the latest security patch available right now. And at last you can see the build date of this ROM which is January 6, 2024. In addition, you may have observed the inclusion of a stylish new default wallpaper within this room. It's noteworthy that with each subsequent update, a distinct wallpaper is introduced, showcasing their innovative approach of refreshing the visual experience with every new release. I find the concept of bringing in new wallpapers during updates quite appealing. Moreover, in the wallpaper section, you can pick from various options like Alexar walls, random walls and more, all of which come pre-installed in this room, which is also a good addition. Camera. Now let's take a look at another crucial aspect that many people prioritize, the camera app. I'm talking about none other than the camera app and as you can see this Project Elixir 4.0 comes with the latest LMC 8.4 camera out of the box which is an impressive addition. This camera app includes numerous advanced features visible all over the screen catering to professional photography and videography. These all options are not pre-enable as you need to enable it from its setting menu. Additionally, you can capture 4K video with this camera app at a maximum of 30 FPS. Although 60 FPS is provided for 4K, it can record only up to 30 frames per second, which is okay. Because in the latest Evolution X 8.2 ROM, which I reviewed in my previous video, the recording capacity is limited to 1080p only. Kernel SEO support. Now I'll show you whether this ROM supports kernel SEO or not. I'll use the Kernel SU app and as you can see it says unsupported indicating that it doesn't support Kernel SU and your phone is not rooted. However, in the latest Evolution X 8.2 Android 14 ROM, Kernel SU was supported by default. Antutu benchmark score. Now let's shift our focus to some of the benchmark scores starting with the Antutu benchmark. Also remember that I'm performing all these tests on my Redmi Note 9 Pro Max device. This score will vary depending on your device model. Having already concluded the Antutu benchmark test, I'm excited to share the results with you. As you can see, the Antutu benchmark score of the latest Project Elixir 4.0 ROM is an impressive 389498. Comparing this score to Android 13 custom ROMs, the average score was around 350,000. And however, in this Android 14 Project Elixir, the Antutu score is particularly impressive. Geekpain 6 score. Now let's delve into the Geekpain 6 score. In terms of single core performance, the latest Project Elixir 4.0 ROM achieves a commendable score of 755. For multi-core talks, it excels with a score of 1844, which is also a good compared to other ROMs. CPU throttling test. Now let's check how well this ROM performs in an intensive CPU throttling test that runs continuously for a 15 minute duration straight. The results are remarkable as no CPU throttling was detected throughout the test. The ROM performed quite well with an average score of 144246 CIPS. This average score is a little low compared to especially Android 13 ROMs, but the good thing is that this CPU has not throttled a bit even after undergoing a throttling test for 15 minutes straight. 
which was not seen in Android 13 custom ROMs for this device. Launcher After checking all the performance related scores, let's take a quick look at the launcher available in this ROM. Since Project Alexir is based on Android version 14 and currently almost all these Android 14 ROMs use Pixel Launcher as the default launcher. I showcased this launcher in the video to avoid surprises if you don't see Launcher 3 on your Project Elixir room. Due to the use of Pixel Launcher, you won't find many customization settings options in your home setting. As I have also mentioned in my previous Evolution X 8.2 ROM review and there's one thing to consider which I noticed. After taking a screenshot, you won't be able to scan the captured screenshot, a feature that was available on Evolution X 8.2 ROM but absent in this Project Elixir ROM. Safety Net and Play Protect Certification Now let's explore another crucial aspect that many people overlook Safety Net status and Play Protect Certification Safety Net and Play Protect Certification serves as security checks for Android apps Safety Net ensures the device security and verifies that it hasn't been tampered with whereas Play Protect checks app for harmful content before allowing them on the Play Store so I'll check the safety net status using a safety net checker app. Running the safety net checkup reveals that both basic integrity and CTS profile match have passed, confirming that this room has successfully passed the safety net integrity test. Similarly, I'll navigate to the Play Store app to show you the Play Protect certification status. You can see the device is certified written on the screen, but initially the device was not certified upon installing this ROM. To address this, I followed some simple steps which I have already recorded in a screen recording. As you can see, the device is not certified here. To fix it, go to the settings section and then navigate to system settings. Inside system settings at the bottom, you will find Alexar updater. Simply tap on it and in the top right corner, tap on the three lines. Then tap on third option which is update play integrity fingerprint. This will immediately run a few processes after completion return back to the play store app and check the status. It may still be uncertified. In that case go to the app info section of the play store app. Clear its data and then force stop the app and then check play protect certification again on play store app. Finally you will see devices certified on there. If this issue persists reboot your phone and upon checking again, it should work for. So this is how you fix this error on this Project Alexa row. Battery settings. Now let's check some of its settings menu. At first, I'll go inside battery setting. Here while opening, you'll see a battery bar animation and the bar length also indicates actual current battery percentage. And talking about the battery setting options, you won't find many options like on Evolution X ROM, but there are some useful features like battery uses option, which will show battery uses graph and screen time as well as battery uses from each app since last full charge. And similarly, you will find battery saver option, but I'm really disappointed here. There is no an extreme battery saver option present, which is a most important and necessary feature to have on a smartphone. Although you can schedule the battery saver based on battery percentage between 10% to 75%, here they have implemented 10% as the minimum battery percentage, but in Android 14 Evolution X 8.2, the minimum battery percentage of this was 20%. And I want to know which one do you prefer, must 20% on Evolution X or 10% on Project Alexa ROM? Let me know in the comment section below. Apps. Now let's shift our attention to the app settings available in its settings section. Here you'll find an option for cloned apps that enables you to have two copies of the same app on your phone, making it convenient to manage different accounts or profiles without the need to constantly log in and out. You can use one for personal use and another for business purposes as well. Similarly, in the app section, you'll find another option, which is the game space option. Game space is a feature that provides a dedicated space for gaming activities. It offers options to enhance the gaming experience by optimizing system performance, blocking notifications during gameplay, and also provides additional features like disabling auto brightness, swipe to screenshot, USB debugging, etc. This is truly a needed feature, especially if you are a gamer. Security and privacy. It's a after app settings, so now let's have a look into security and privacy setting available in this room. Here you'll find all the options to unlock the device like pattern, pin, password, fingerprint, and even face unlock option. And I have checked all the things and found that everything works smoothly. 
and one thing i was hoping for to have in this setting is not available and that is app lock feature it should have been in its home setting if there was launcher 3 instead of pixel launcher but even having pixel launcher evolution x 8.2 has provided app lock feature on its security and privacy setting but this project like Zaya Roam haven't included this option and it would have been better if it has provided that option as it's also one of the most needed feature on smartphone. Essence settings. This project like Zaya Roam comes with its essence section which is like a customization hub of this room. From here you can do lots of customization on different section on your phone like on themes section, lock screen section, status bar section, quick settings, gestures, and miscellaneous. And from the miscellaneous setting, you will get some options like advanced restart option, which will show additional options to reboot phone to recovery and on bootloader mode. And if you enable this ignore window secure flag option, then you will be able to take screenshot and do a screen record on some apps that doesn't allow you to do so, like on banking apps, streaming apps, Facebook locked profile picture and more. In this miscellaneous section, you won't find many options like Netflix spoof, higher FPS in games, unlimited photo stories and more. And even it does not have unlimited photo stories option, but it do provide that features as you will be able to upload as many photos and videos on Google Photos app. Bugs. Now let's delve into this section everyone hopes not to have on their phone. Bugs. I diligently sourced for issues in this room and identified one concerning the haptic feedback. Despite enabling the back gesture haptic, it fails to work when navigating back using the back gestures. Additionally, there is no haptic feedback on the keyboard. However, you can easily rectify this by accessing the language preferences setting. Enable the option labeled haptic feedback on key press and adjust the value within the vibration strength on key press action. After making these changes, you will experience haptic feedback on the keyboard as well. Conclusion after exploring all of the details of the latest Project Alexa 4.0 ROM, let's wrap up our discussion with my honest view. The Alexa ROM is impressive, offering all the expected features of a custom ROM. It provides numerous customization options in the Android 14 environment and plans to add more features soon. The ROM is stable, ensuring smooth performance with almost no bugs, except for a minor issue with the back gesture haptic not working. In short, Alexa ROM is a great choice for everyday use. I hope your experience matches mine and I recommend trying it if your device is compatible. Find the download link in the description section below. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you like this video. If you do, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracks with YouTube channel. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.